welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. If you're new here, I mainly just kind of waffle on about things that have helped me and questions I have about life, the universe and everything. <laughs> If you're also a bit confused about life and just want to chat about a little bit of everything, please feel free to join us. It is a lovely community. We always have great chats down in the comments. So leave yours and maybe like and subscribe if you want to come back for more. Today I thought I would talk a little bit about limitations and that word scares people quite often. When you think of limitations, what do you first think about? I guarantee it's probably not a good thing. The word limitation itself feels negative. It doesn't really have connotations of being very positive or being very beneficial to you as an individual. Personal limitations are seen as things that we have no control over, but they limit us somehow. As somebody with low self-esteem, I feel like that is a limitation of myself. I put limits in front of myself and obstacles that probably don't actually exist, but I create them in my head. And instead of looking at the world from an endless pool of positivities, I look at it from limit to limit. The other night I was lying there and I thought, are limitations always a bad thing? Sometimes I think a little bit of reframing is helpful when we think of something that's negative. So I sat and I thought about limitations for a little while. The thing is, limitations open up a lot for us, actually, more than I ever thought about. And when I did a bit of research and digging, I realized I wasn't the only one that had made this connection. Many people actually praise their limitations and use them every single day to either get the job they want or get the task done that they didn't think they could do. I think that's the good thing about limitations. You don't truly know what you're capable of until you know what your limits are. If we spend our lives going through plodding along in our comfort zone, we probably won't ever find out what our limits are but that also means we won't find out what the possibilities are either and what we are capable of. Previously, I thought that maybe my limitations were a hindrance, but since having this whole epiphany, if you like, since deciding to reframe them, I've actually learned quite a bit about how they might be helpful. One way I believe our limitations can be very helpful is they help massively with communication. If you have a limitation that means maybe perhaps you're not very good at maths, you might struggle with certain things, but that does mean that perhaps your communication skills increase and you become a better communicator because you actually learn to ask for help. I didn't do this for a long time. My maths is very, very appalling. I don't, don't even particularly like talking about maths. Just the word maths makes me cringe. Oh. And for a long time, I thought that capped my ability to do something. It meant I couldn't partake in certain activities or play certain games because maths was involved. I would literally avoid playing card games because there were numbers on cards. And that was putting a limit on my social life, my career progression, everything. And actually, when I decided to not see it as a limit anymore, I became a much better communicator. I remember playing a card game and usually I would say no thank you to playing a card game. But actually, I just said, how do you play? And that might seem really simple to some people. Some people who are already excellent communicators are probably thinking, why didn't you just ask that in the first place? But it's a big deal for me, for some reason. It was a huge deal, I just could not ask for help. And actually it was fun. I laughed and I made fun of myself when I got numbers mixed up and I didn't get them right, but nobody made me feel stupid. Obviously I know I was very lucky to be surrounded by lovely people on that particular occasion, but I've played card games since then and I've actually had fun. And oddly enough, I have found coping strategies with being very, very bad at maths. And although it is a limitation, I do feel as though I have also fed and developed my strengths and my communication skills are a lot better and I find different ways of doing things. Which brings me on to my next point. Although I'm not just talking about work and careers in this video, it is important to note this one thing, and this illustrates my point perfectly. Did you know that some companies actually hire people because of their limitations? There's been a whole thing around LinkedIn at the moment where companies are hiring dyslexic thinkers. 
I am dyslexic and when I first saw this I thought it was a joke. For those of you who don't know, I am a writer by trade, that's how I make my living, I am a freelance writer and people are always shocked about that because I'm dyslexic and when people hear that word they think you can't read, you can't write, you can't... what can you do? <laughs> Actually, being dyslexic means you find different and often more creative ways of getting a job done and you work harder to achieve better results. It was really refreshing finding out that companies are literally hiring people for being dyslexic and being good at their jobs. I think that's really wonderful and that is the perfect example for when your limitations or what you feel are your limitations can actually breed success. What people don't realise is that limitations are man-made. We are in a society where quite often, if you apply for a job for instance, you are just a name on a CV. People can see what you've achieved and you get asked questions in a job interview asking what you're good at or how you'd overcome a challenge. But actually, when you can face your limitations head on, you suddenly realise you are more capable of dealing with them and you find ways around them too. If we never faced our limitations, how could we ever possibly progress or get anything done or be productive or grow and learn and find out who we want to be in life? And something I found very valuable to realise was that an overused strength can also become a limitation. If you're a creative like me and a writer and an artist and you overuse your skill or what you feel like you're good at to a point where you can no longer do it, then surely that becomes a limitation. By learning your limits when it comes to your strengths, you can actually progress within your strengths far more, surely. And that might seem like a bit of a mind big explosion thing. But it's true, we cannot progress within our strengths unless we know our limitations and quite often our limitations are catalysts to getting better at something else. I think as a society we spend so often focusing on the negatives or what we can't do that we don't look at what we can overcome and how we can progress. We all have limitations. Our society works because we all have different talents, different skills, and we all have different needs and requirements too. If everybody was all good at the same thing, or everybody struggled with the same thing, some industries wouldn't even exist. In fact, humankind would probably not have progressed to the point that we're at now. I think the main point I'm trying to get to is your limitations don't define you. You can own them but don't let them own you. Don't put obstacles in your way and don't let them become an excuse for not getting further or getting where you want to be in life. Your limitations make you up, but they're not who you are. You are so much more than what you can't do. So maybe we all just need to focus on that a little bit and we'll all be a little bit calmer and a little bit nicer to each other. I can dream. <laughs> If you like this video, this will be part of a little series called Finding Calm and I hope you find some comfort in it somewhere. I will be talking about a variety of different things like limitations but also how you can find some calm in your day. As I always say, I'm not a professional by any means, even close, but I like to research and I like finding things that work for me and I think if I can share something that works for me and it works for somebody else, then it's worth it. There is a lot of information on the internet and not everything I say will be valuable for everybody. It's not a one size fits all deal, but you might find something here that's helpful. If you have any tips or any stories you'd like to share where you've overcome a limitation or where you feel your limitations have actually benefited you, please do share them. I read all of your comments and they are so, so wonderful and motivating. In fact, a few of you made me cry on the train in public the other day, so thanks for that. <laughs> but like I say, I really hope you've found some comfort here. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Look after yourselves. <sighs> Did I talk really fast? I feel like I spent the whole time talking really fast. Actually, that video is going to be like me, just not making any sense. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I hope it made sense. Bye.